According to latest media reports, the GSH-23 twin-barreled system will go through integration trials on board the Tejas Mark I fighter jet from early 2020, which is already locally manufactured by Indian Ordnance Factories. The trial was held up as the Indian Air Force and Aeronautical Development Agency had jointly agreed to keep the certification of GSH-23 system out of the FOC certification, due to the time consumed by flight trials for its certification. The contract for local manufacturing of 464 T-90 tanks with full technology transfer was signed at $3.12 billion. As per the contract, India will pay $1.2 billion to the Russian original equipment manufacturer for full technology transfer, while the Ordnance Factory Board will be paid $1.92 billion for local production of 464 tanks. Russian defense companies will have to undertake full production and localization guarantees, and both Indian and Russian firms will be fined, if the project hits cost overruns or production delays. India will manufacture a total of 120 tanks per year, and the project will be completed within four years. After being removed from the short list for 111 Naval Utility Helicopters project, Hindustan Aeronautics has written to the Defence Ministry, requesting that its bid should also be considered. Four private sector companies have already been shortlisted for the 21,000 crore rupees project under the strategic partnership model, which have met the required financial and technical criteria. Hindustan Aeronautics has requested reconsideration, which is strongly opposed by the Indian Navy, that doesn't want any delays to impact the critical program. According to media reports, China is engaged in constructing a landing strip in southwest Tibet, which is situated very close to the Indian border, that will enable the Chinese military to operate fighter jets transport aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles. The Chinese army has also built several new military camps in the border region, and there is a report of a secret guided missile unit about 900 kilometers away from Indian border. The Indian Navy will commission its 6th Squadron of Dornier aircraft on 29 November, and the short-range maritime reconnaissance aircraft will keep an eye in the North Arabian Sea, where India shares its maritime border with Pakistan. ISRO has successfully launched the Kartasat-3 satellite on board the PSLV C-47, adding one more to its constellation of remote sensing satellites, that can map the Earth with better accuracy. Along with the Kato Sat-3, the PSLV C-47 has also placed 13 American nanosatellites in their designated orbits. Omar dropped it.